Hello everyone, I am Jayesh Vankade, wishing you a happy test trust day to all software testing professionals. I do have 12 plus years of experience into software testing and I am currently working at Softronics Development LLP in Dubai. So somewhere we all have issues with our senior team members or some of us all have issues with the team as a leader. So today I am going to share my experience and knowledge about keeping the team motivated and also share a few tips to be a great leader. So when you were made a leader, you were given a crime. You were given a responsibility to bring out the best in your team. So let me share a few tips here. So tip number one, create a healthy environment. So create an environment where everyone feels safe to express themselves. It helps to grow as an individual and also as a team. Create a strong bond within a team and with each individual. Give them time to explore and upgrade themselves. This way you can build a healthier environment in the team and also regain the team's confidence. Tip number two, set the clear expectations. Always have clear expectations from the team. Clear them with what exactly you are looking for. Help them to find the direction to reach a common goal or the destination which you have been set. During the setting, uh, during setting up the expectations, clear all the parameters like time frame, what to follow and each individual responsibility. Tip number three, keep motivated. Give ownership of all the tasks to each individual which helps them to boost their confidence. Timely appreciate your team's effort and encourage them to do better in each possible way. Identify the skills set of your team members and guide them into a career path. Encourage them to, uh, to be a part of testing events and competitions and also get involved with them if possible. Then tip number four, communication. Communication is a key to success. Keep in engaging with the team and provide support whenever needed. Have some team building activity with the team. Avoid project discussion during the breaks or the lunch breaks, snacks breaks or tea breaks and or when you are not at your workplace. Set up one to one meetup with, within a month or a two to give timely feedback rather than waiting for the period of appraisal. Then last tip number five, team in involvement. Get the team members involved during the requirement analysis or the requirement understanding. If it's not possible to make them aware of the requirement and ask for the suggestions. Appreciate and welcome the suggestions given by your team members. This way they will feel a part of a team and be a more actively participated during a work. I hope this will be helpful to build a good solid team because leadership is not a power but it's a responsibility. So at the end I would like to thank Fundu Testers and Nishan to share my test message with all of you. Keep testing, happy testing. Thank you.